Yes, I can write. Ah, yes, print type it there. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> so let us uh, tell you about a brief description of a minor ship because oh, it's not there. We are going to discuss <coughs> about the classification features, type, property, rule, and function. If I'm asking you what is a minor ship in one term, what you will say? This is a amino acid, correct? So what do you will say about about amino acid? <coughs> hmm? Any idea? You will say it's the two terms. Now it is the kind of two terms. First is the amino group, and other is the AC. So, what is special feature is going to have in the protein? Because you know the amino acid are the building blocks of so many peptides and proteins. And whatever all the features in your body, you can see it only because of these amino acids. So sometimes you can see many examples. You can see uh, like silk. What is silk? From where it is produced? Silk is produced by the semi. Silk is produced by the silk right? And uh, have you any idea that uh, it's used in the making bulletproof jackets? <coughs> so okay, so silk is nowadays uh, modified in the form of bulletproof jacket. So what makes it hard? And the same protein, same amino acid used in spider web horns. Horns is also very tough, you know, but antibiotics is not very tough. Toxins, all their proteins, amino acids are salt peptides, you know, right? But they are not like silk, not, you cannot use them for uh, preparation of blood proof. Enzymes are, you know, they are proteins, but they are the different functions. So, what is unique about the protein? How these unique proteins features are embedded by the use of amino acids? So we have to learn a lot. And earlier when scientists were exploring about the amino acid, they were surprised to know that around 300 amino acids are present in the body. How many? How many amino acids you can say? This is around 300. But why uh, we are classifying them as a only 20? We are classifying them as a 20 or 21. Why? Because these 300 amino acids, the rest of the amino acids beside 21, actually, what is their function? Their function is to part of metabolism, intermediate metabolism, right? So they are not appearing exclusively in your nutrition. So already you know two amino acids they're going to form, going to unite by a peptide bond. This is a peptide bond. And how we are uh, mentioning peptide bond, peptide bond you are mentioning as a COH. Correct? Am I right? This is acting as a COH. And that's why whenever these these are the side chain you know r1 r2 what is there they are the side chain okay and uh, whenever the two amino acid unite to form a peptide bond so these amino acid called as amino acid residues why because they are formed after removal of the water molecule so always when you are calculating <coughs> how many amino acids are there from a peptide that is linked, okay? So always consider removal of water, okay? So general uh, average amino acid, average molecular weight of amino acid is how how much? Can you tell me? Another thing. 
जीरो प्लस नॉट जीरो इट्स अराउंड वन वन थ्री ओके और नाउ प्लेस इट्स कंसीडर्ड मोर एक्यूरेटली एज ए हंड्रेड टेन ओके कॉट द आइडिया कैन वी प्रोसीड टू नेक्स्ट any question so this is the sad form of ah uh, pardon please if you have any question you can ask yes yes what i am saying uh two amino acid is going to form a peptide right this is a peptide and they are linked by the peptide bonds right so whenever you are considering during the calculations so amino acid residue average molecular weight is now it is considered as 110 dalton okay how much this is considered as 110 dot right so if you are considering i will tell you more detail by giving the example in next uh, uh, lectures Right, he how the calculations are made, and in the calculation are made the accurately minus 18. S2 molecular weight is how much? Oxygen 16, nitrogen is 2. So how much molecular weight you can deduct? So our average it was, if you see, 110 plus 18. How much it becomes? 120 H. Right, average. I am talking about the average molecular weight of amino acid, but nowadays <coughs> they are deducting minus 18 because there is a loss of water, so it's coming around 100 ml. It's clear, and that's why the amino acid residue they are calling them as amino acid residue because this is not a complete amino acid when they are linked with the peptide bond because they have lost a molecule of water. That's it. Any more question, brother? <clears throat> Any more question, Mr. Hello. Okay, that's it, na. So there is another lecture going on, na, side by side. Who is taking that lecture? So now you see, this is structure of simple peptide. Uh, there are two ends, amino tunnel and carboxyl end, and now you can see they are written in the short form, right? S S for can you tell me? G for, Y for, A for, and L for. So whenever uh, you may be given a question like that, you write the expand. What kind of amino acids are linked here? The name of amino acid S for. Sorry, G for glycine, Y for alanine. Why Y for alanine? Why not A? Can you tell me? Hmm? Any idea? Because already A has been assigned to some other alanine acid. Okay, got the idea? And L for Lysine, A for aspartic acid. What the point? What I am saying? Hello, beta. Hello. About the well. Okay. So we will learn first about the amino acid, their properties, and then about the. Uh, what are the short form of each amino acid? We have to remember because many times we are getting the question like this: these are the sequence of amino acids in a peptide, right? Now decode for SGYL. We have decoded it as what? S for serine, G for glycine, Y for. Tell me. Y for what? Y for what? No idea. <coughs> y for 
एलानिन जस्ट आई हैव टोल्ड यू नो एलानिन ए फॉर ए फॉर इस पार्टी के सी वेर एवर यू वांट टू कमेंट ओवर माय लेक्चर यू आर नॉट गेटिंग हाँ यस यस हाँ यस एल फॉर लिवसिन तो दिस इज़ द फुल अमाइनो एसिड नेम सेरिल ग्लाइसिल टाइरो सेल ला ना एवरी टाइम सेल ही पहनते हैं but when you are, when you are writing in different form three letter code form you are writing like this serine glycine tyrosine alanine leucine but when you are uh, writing them in the one alphabet form then it becomes so because uh, this information will be needed where during the sequencing during the sequencing we need that okay Okay, so we will learn many more things about these amino acids. For example, one more example you can see A E G K. <coughs> so A E G K, A for alanine, A for alanine, E for glutamine, glutamine. Okay, glutamic acid. This is a glutamic acid. Now again you can see. This is not G. This is E. Why? Because already G assigned for glycine. Okay. So when there will be two amino acid with similar alphabet, so one obviously is going to assign with the different alphabet. Glycine K. This is very popular term. Have you any idea about that? Glycine is always popularly abbreviated as K. Right. When we are sequencing, you are getting the K. It simply means it's a lysine. When in the sequencing you are getting E, simply it means tell me, tell me, glutamic acid. And when you are getting A A, so one is stand for alanine, other is stand for just to be started tell me now that as part yes yes okay we are going to see not a normal lecture you are not in a high school or a plus two okay so at least you can think of some advanced lecture already we are naming them as a advanced lecture so this is a part thing as part time was asked in the last csr examination right so what is the formula of as part time and select out of four so here is the formula of aspartame l aspartyl l phenyl alanine methyl ester okay aspartame so this is also a sugar but this is a amino sugar amino acid that is acting as a sweetener there is no glucose the acting as a sweetener this is not a glucose But this is around ten thousand times more sweeter than your glucose. Okay. So can you ask me if I am uh, using constantly as part time in my daily foods? What may happen to the body? Any ideas? any idea beta kya hoga agar hum lagatar aspartame khaye apni body mein to this is a chemical hai na this is artificially prepared this has been artificially prepared and if anything is prepared artificially then what will be the consequences obviously they are not going to be suitable for the body and uh, sometime it has been observed that If person is uh, constantly eating the aspartam, they are going to have uh, diabetes first, है ना? Very soon they can have the diabetes, and next stage is the cancer. Most of the cancer, despite of you are not taking any carcinogenic agents, they are already present in the foods, noodle, pizza. Have you any idea about that? All the junk food have one or other kind of. कैंसर एसिजेंट 
For example, uh, what is your favorite shampoo? Can you tell me one name, commercial? Then I can tell you you are using the carcinogenic chemicals in them. And they are branded. They are branded. Most popularly branded shampoo contain a component that is benzene. This is banned in America and frequently used in India. <laughs> See, and this is the product of USA. Okay. And uh, their brand ambassador is Karina Kapoor and so many heroines, you know. So can you imagine what they are using at a cost and you are also paying a very high cost at your life. Huh? For being a cancer, if you are washing your hair with ordinary shampoo, there is not going to be any harm. You are safe. This is surprising. And you are uh, paying at least 20, 40 times more than ordinary shampoo. And still you are getting a carcinogenic chemicals in that shampoo. And they are written in very small alphabet. You cannot read it. And the government has allowed. Okay. No one has reported that benzyl component is present in all branded shampoos. You can take me one name and I will tell you. If they have a very dangerous component of benzene. Similarly, the Coca-Cola Pepsi also they have a very high concentration of this aspartame. Very high concentration, not a uh, 20 times, 40 times. They are containing 100 to 1000 times aspartame in that. Okay, and after once if you are thinking that you are getting so much energy, no, 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 you are getting a disease if you are frequently user of that product. So, uh, as a bio student, what do you think? You should use it directly on the recommendation of these film stars, any product. Shampoo, we should think that if you have to wash your hair, it will not be washed, it will not be washed. It will not be washed, it will not be washed. Brain cancer, brain cancer, है, है ना? अगर वो chemical आपके body में पड़ता है, breast cancer, मतलब कुछ भी cancer, skin cancer, कुछ भी cancer हो सकता है, अगर तो वो daily पड़ रहा है तो, so now over to you. If you have any comments, then you can ask me. Otherwise, you can see there are a lot of peptides. That is made up of short amino acid segments. For example, insulin, oxytocin. Oxytocin function in the childbirth, insulin, sugar. Okay. All the sex peptides in the lower organism as well as the higher organism are kind of peptides. Neuropeptides, pain initiator, whatever the pain you are feeling and writing a lot of poems and poetry. This is because of a neuropeptide and this is called as a P-peptide, you know, substance P and it was asked in the CSIR. You cannot imagine what uh, the CSIR is going to ask. Uh, obviously, Dhanushri is going to give the CSIR after two years, but uh, right, Dhanushri? Am I right? <laughs> hmm. But uh, before that, you will get to know a lot of things because biochemistry will also be a part of that syllabus. And uh, CSR has included everything, everything. And they are not going to leave you anything from BSc to MSc, your master's, and even the latest topic they are included. So, a lot of function already you might be knowing protein inserting is a cofactor, coenzyme, prosthetic group. If there is a disconnection of Zoom link, then again you can join, okay, with using the same link because of any technical fault, not technical glitch. So now coming to okay, better. Okay, I'm audible. 
okay so hello uh, so let us start with again my name now my name is some I have uh, some basic features you can say this is a basic structure of proteins all have three common function group like uh, amine carboxylic and proton individual amino acid each have different r groups these four groups are attached to central carbon atom that's why they are the chiral center chiral center you know there are four different groups one is the carboxyl other end is amine this is r group and this is a h okay so Just to wait, beta. We, uh, if you have any question, you can leave uh, in your comment box. Okay, I'm just getting back to uh, how this is it for the class is start to do. And, uh, so, map information that I start to you can join me on the website soon and you can learn at your own pace. And uh, I'm sending you the card lecture every day along with the quiz. So, this will be the first class. Okay. Not going to face any kind of problem. Hello. Hello, Ocho. How are you? How are you doing? Hi. 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 Hi.
Okay. Okay. So again, get back to okay. ओके <laughs> हेलो तो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस स्ट्रक्चरल फीचर ऑफ द माइनर मैसेज नर्व फैंसी दिस माइनर मैसेज आर हैविंग आई एम ऑडियो परफेक्टली दिस इज द माइनर ग्रुप दिस इज कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप ओके रिमेम्बर There is a no charge. No charge means I mean it is a both plus and minus charge. And at which pH this happens, that pH is all called as this pH is called as Jeter ion, right? So Jeter ion means they have NH. Three plus CO minus and three plus CO minus. Okay, <coughs> got the idea? 